It seems even though Trunks knows Goku Black's children, he can never forgive Goku Black for what he's done. Prepare yourself, Dan Saiyan. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to help us achieve the 300k mortal plan. Every soul counts. Today we have the long-awaited continuation to the Simp Girl and Goku Black Dragon Ball fan manga. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna leave a link to the entire Simp Girl playlist in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and check it out. But today, not only do we have a revamp of sorts of the story, we also have a continuation of the main storyline and some news from the author. I'll find him no matter how far he's gone. He fails to understand the depth of my power. Michelle is the creator of Epiphany, the Goku Black Dragon Ball fan manga, really the only one of its kind. So go ahead and give her a follow on Twitter, that way you stay in tune and check out her updates for exactly the future of the Dragon Ball fan manga. But she actually has an announcement that I'm going to go ahead and read for you guys right here. Since Epiphany has now been introduced by the successful YouTuber Blackscape, successful i mean you know you know i kind of just shit post on here a lot of the time and cover dragon ball fan manga but thank you so much for your compliments successful Whew, that shit's gonna go to my head i've had many new followers so i will deal intensively with the story again it got a lot of positive feedback also about shiru and the twins which are goku black's children there is no end in sight for the story so far i still have too many ideas that i want to implement even if it will take longer until the next page is published the story will definitely not be cancelled this project means a lot to me and has become a big life's work too thanks to everyone who actively supports Supports me and of course we thank you so much for this Dragon Ball fam manga epiphany in my opinion is one of the greats specifically because it does have to do with Goku Black and giving him a family giving him a soul and giving him a girlfriend so I definitely enjoyed that aspect of the story and I can't wait to see more of it because ultimately when I found epiphany on DeviantArt it didn't seem to have a continuation it seemed like it had stopped at a certain point so I decided you know what I'm gonna give this story the love and attention that it deserves and that's exactly what I did with my playlist which again you guys can find in the description in the top comment and as I delve deeper into the story and it got more momentum now it seems that Michelle is going to continue the story and give it all the love that it deserves so you guys made that possible by following and showing her story the love and support that it deserves thank you guys so much let's go ahead and jump right in <laughs> <laughs> At last, there is no one left in this world who can resist me. First things first, there is a slight revamp as to the very beginning of the story of Dragon Ball Epiphany. If you guys remember, somebody who we don't know who it is yet, and I was the one that suggested and theorized that it was the girl that we see in the Sim Girl. I was thinking that that it was her who wished back Goku Black with the Dragon Balls. Now we find out that not only was he brought back, but he was brought back with his own soul, which, yeah, he had a Zamazu soul initially. He was Zamazu in Goku's clothing. So I like the fact that he is his own person now because, as I said originally, Goku Black is by far my favorite villain in Dragon Ball Super. But he does lose a lot of that edge when you find out he is Zamazu. He's very, very a different character before that point and once he becomes Samazu or is introduced as Samazu he basically just melts into him which I didn't really like. So this is an effort to give him his own story and of course now he has returned to planet Earth, the destroyed planet Earth. And Black could not be happier so he ends up basically continuing where he left off and destroying whatever little amount of humans there were left on the planet to make his perfect utopia. I would imagine that 
humans doesn't just mean the ones on planet Earth, and he'd have to go across the cosmos to different planets to kill everybody else, but he's kind of going about it a very slow way because he's got to kill all of them without damaging the Earth, so I guess he should definitely perfect the attack, the Zero Mortals attack that Boo did in the Boo Saga where he killed all the people on Earth in just a matter of seconds. Now he does kill everybody on Earth and here we get to the next big change. He kills everybody except for me. So now we know the story is being told directly by Shiru who ends up becoming Goku Black's love interest. Now she's getting ready to attack Goku Black which is also different because originally she was running away from him and she seems to have powers of her own but realizes that she really can't do anything against him and then that's when Goku Black kind of tracks her down and pops up right behind her which this also shows that not only can she not be hurt by Goku Black, but he can't be hurt by her. So they have a mutual connection as opposed to before where Goku Black can't really hurt her. And he tries to kill her right away and his power completely saps away. He is completely useless. And almost you can take this as a flashback to the very beginning of the story because that's exactly where this cuts off. And now we can get to the brand new pages. We found out in the last chapters of Dragon Ball Epiphany that Trunks brings back Goku Black's children from the future to save him from the wrath and revenge of Zamazu. We found out that these children can also go Super Saiyan Rose, and Goku finds it hilarious that Goku Black actually ended up making children with his body, essentially. But although Trunks is seemingly allies with Goku Black's children, he still does not forgive or trust Goku Black for the atrocities that he's committed across the timelines. And that is when Vegeta punches Trunks in the face to tell him to shut up because as he says, a real Saiyan always believes in the good, so Vegeta has definitely turned his tune. And Goku jokes around with Goku Black, kind of elbowing him in the chest, but he completely forgot that Zamazu had broken his ribs, and now Goku Black is in pain, and he starts beating and wailing on Goku. Goku tries to make amends by giving Goku Black a Sensu Bean, which, you know, this is the right situation to give your villain a Sensu Bean, because he is an ally, not giving him a Sensu Bean when you haven't even put him in handcuffs yet. You know, Dragon Ball Super Manga, <laughs> Toyotaro. <laughs> but yeah, Goku Black says no, I will not take any of of your drugs so you know what say no to drugs kids <laughs> and Goku says no this is going to heal you instantly and Goku Black ends up taking the bean at Vegeta's request so Vegeta calls him Black Rot which is just awesome you guys can call me Black Rot from now on and at that same moment that is when Bulma ends up getting into the battlefield and she brings little trunks and little goten and the twins seem to know exactly who bulma is and it looks like in the future they have had a relationship with bulma they have probably been raised at her house at least at a certain extent maybe she's been their babysitter remember that in this timeline bulma is taking care of goku black and shiru after eating the bean, Goku Black is back to full power, but not if Trunks has anything to say about it. He attacks him again and this time completely misses and Goku Black KOs him in one shot. Trunks really needs to calm down. He already attacked Goku Black once only to get punched by his own father, so he needs to kind of let the past die, but doesn't seem like this Trunks gonna let that go very easily. And Goku Black is done with these games and he says that if he wants to see and test his true power, then he will have it. But Bulma stops this in her tracks and she says, Trunks, it is time to bury the hatchet because Goku Black is a good guy essentially now and he's defeated his evil counterpart and Goku Black's yelling at her like he's the one that keeps starting it. I'm doing nothing to provoke him and he just keeps attacking me. But now that mommy says to stop, Goku Black tells Trunks that you better stop or else you're gonna get in trouble with your mama. But Trunks really isn't listening at this point even though Vegeta punched him right in the face to tell him to stop but Trunks will not stop. Goku Black gently grabs Trunks face and says see this is exactly how your punches feel and he just kind of just holds his face there, basically showing that Trunks' punches really don't affect Goku Black in the slightest. But Goku Black shows Trunks mercy because in the future, it seems that Trunks is an important relative to his own children. So yeah, this is an interesting turn of events that now it seems that Goku Black and Trunks are essentially family to a certain extent. 
Not sure why Trunks keeps attacking him, but yeah, he should have buried the hatchet a long time ago after being with his children for so long. And Goku Black makes it clear that he is no longer a bad guy. He is no longer the guy that destroyed all of the mortals. He has a soul and it has been nurtured by Shiru and he has been given a second chance at a brand new life. This is a character that is redeemed, that's an evil character, done right. Not just with a speech from Goku and then he's like, you know what, I'll go to jail willingly and I'm not gonna, you know, fight you and try to kill you. No, this is a guy that actually has gone through the ringer, has faced his own demons, and has gotten used to the Z fighters, and has kids with an earthling immortal. So I definitely like the direction that Goku Black is going, and I am 100% for a good Goku Black. And Goku Black says as much because he reaffirms that it wasn't his choice or his direction that he wanted his life to go, but fate has seemingly put him in this path because now he is not only in love with the mortal that stops his powers from working the last mortal in his future but he's got mortal children as well who he seemingly loves with all his heart so he is 100% changed and that is the last page of Dragon Ball Epiphany as of now and you guys are all caught up for the next pages I'm gonna wait until Michelle has more pages of this Dragon Ball fan manga until I cover it again but now you guys have the most current status anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video and getting to this point you guys are the fucking squad the winner of today's hashtag end of video squad the soul that decided to stay till the very end of my previous video and drop hashtag end of video squad on their comment is going to be Z Man 123. Here's to hoping for a new DB anime, but considering how they're doing something different in the next new arc, instead of the moral arc and going in a new direction in the series, I'm a bit iffy. Hopefully, the writing will be a lot better. So essentially what you're saying is that you're not 100% on board with like a spin-off series and yeah, I would be worried too because you don't really know which direction they're going to go and at the same time they've never really done that where they focused on other characters instead of just Goku as being the main character and I get why you can be kind of iffy on that but remember the history of Trunks is one of the most revered storylines in Dragon Ball and Trunks is the main character in that so I think with the right writing and the right direction they can have a spin-off that is successful. Thank you so much Z-Man123 for your comment. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care guys. Subscribe for more content.